All right, so before I uh, continue on with the clutch, let's look at the, the kit here. Uh, so this is a uh, Takigawa uh, slipper clutch. Right, so there you go, and there's all the uh, part number and everything, whatever it is. Right, so I ordered an a extra Honda gasket. That's for the oil filter, so you see one of those. You might be able to use the old gasket. Uh, usually you, you can. Uh, it you know, probably works, you know, but you have to take it apart first and make sure that it's uh, that the old one is, is everything's still intact. The surface of it is not the, the, the oil filter here. You know, it's a metal oil filter. But the surface of it has this uh, this kind of a rubbery uh, uh, surface. So you have to make sure that surface is intact on both sides. If it's not, it will leak. Okay. So here's the uh, manual. Tells you what parts it comes with. Um, comes with the gasket as well. Uh, bearing, thrust, I think that's a thrust bearing. That's some other, or is it not thrust bearing? Thrust wa washer. Well, basically, it's a, um, what do they call it? Uh, I can't remember what's the name of this, the, the uh, thrust, uh, the spring, uh, thrust spring, whatever it is. Uh, Let's see what else is in here. Oh, they just tell you how to take it apart. So this picture right here is picture for the Grom. This picture right here is picture for the looks like the monkey. So they show you both. That's a good thing. Let's see if they show you torque specs. So this is all disassembly, disassembly. That's all disassembly. That's how you put the pack together. Um, yada yada. There's a washer that says outside. You gotta line up the uh, the name, the Takigawa name. So here's a torque number right here for the clutch. It's 12 newton meter. 12 newton meters not much. That's less than 10 foot pounds, or around 10, 10 foot pounds. 12, 12 newton meters. Uh, the little oil splash tray. That's 10 newton meters. This is not 12 newton meters. Let's see. The, um, the clutch, uh, excuse me, the oil filter. That one's 64 newton meters. The big nut. Let's see, the oil filter cover is 12 newton meters. The, the cover, the, the clutch cover itself, 10 newton meters. Let's see. So, whether you're a uh, Axle, the, the axle with the uh, swing arm axle, pivot point, 54 newton meters, and the uh, one below that is uh, 31 newton meters. So basically, all you can, all the torque specs. Okay, so you got all the torque specs. So this is the one of the things that they show what they want, want the name to line up. We'll see that in a minute. Uh, paper, paper, more paper. That's good that I have all that paper in there. So you make sure you don't uh, lose anything. All right? Well, not lose anything, but, uh, but nothing gets, uh, gets damaged. So that's your hardware. That's uh, super clutch right there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Back. That is fly away. It's a windy day. Up here. Put, put this against the um, against the parts um, there. 
make everything there. So I got the, uh, the little uh, spacer thing about. I forgot what this is called for the clutch. Just there. You can see six bolts. Got six bolts. Allen heads looks like. Got a bearing. Bearing. Got two washers here. Two washers there. So that's one, two, three, three feet for the clutch itself. So that's one piece, two piece, three piece. Okay, so it's, everything's there. So we're good. We are good. So here this is what they're talking about when they don't when you put the clutch pack back on. There's a Takagawa name right there. It's also a Takagawa name right here. Those two has to uh they have to line up. So this one goes like so. That one doesn't matter, but there's a name there. There's a name here. So it has to go like so later on where the uh where those two names line up. Let's see. So actually mine is not lined up like that, is it lined up? No. That's not lined up. That's definitely not lined up. So it's, it's like this time. So as lined up as you can. That's it. So, okay, so that's the, that's the clutch. Uh, that's what comes in out of the uh, slipper clutch. You're wondering how the hell does the slipper clutch work? So basically this is this is it right here. See this way it has a ramp. So normally when, when it's uh, the engine is running, it's spinning this direction, right? So it's basically spinning that direction. And uh, how this, so this, this inner plate here, how it's right here and right here, it's square. So it just keeps on, it keeps, so the whole thing will, the whole pack will spin. But when you uh, downshift or you engine brake, uh, you know, basically when you downshift, what happens is instead of the, the, the engine putting torque on this, it's the wheel that puts torque on this. When the wheel puts on torque on this, it actually there's a, there's a moment where it kind of goes in, in this direction. So when it does that, uh, um, or I should I shouldn't say it goes in the it doesn't go backwards it goes forward but but it's it's the uh, it's the uh, the wheel that's that's that spins is forward and and when when instead of instead of uh, this plate here when the engine's on this plate is basically this here is pushing on here but when when you're engine braking or downshifting this right here pushes on this so when this pushes on this uh, what happens is that it go it goes up that ramp it goes up like so right when it goes up that ramp that's when the the clutch will uh will actually kind of uh momentarily disengage so that way every, everything could match the speed the, the you know the, the 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 speed when it's they are spinning then once once the speed starts to match uh then it comes back down and the clutch will grab and engages again um let's see that's how that works um okay so let's continue on uh, next video.